equipment on the bridge. We have seen bridge. What is a bridge? This is the for, for, for castle. That is a forward part. Aft side, we have seen propeller, rudder and everything. So, bridge is the topmost deck accommodation. The topmost portion is the navigational bridge. Because from here, you should be able to see the port side, starboard side, forward side, aft side. Everything you can see. The whole visibility will be there. To have a side visibility, if you see the other way, I draw the this picture the other way. Seeing from here, this accommodation, if you see from the other side, it has got wings. It has got wings. Bridge has got wings. So, from standing from this side or this side, the navigating officer, duty officer can see both the sides very clearly. So, accommodation will be having both sides. Wing will be there, extended place, overhanging bridge. So, here from here, bridge is here actually. So, they can go sideways and they can see. I will show ship's photograph, what is the wing and everything. It is only just a small sketch, only just to understand. So, inside the bridge, what all equipments are there? The navigating officer must have all these minimum equipments for taking the vessel safely, safe operation without pollution, safe operation of the vessel is very important. So, a navigating officer should have all these equipments on the bridge. One is steering wheel. We have seen other day, rudder is connected to the steering room engine or steering from there, it is going to the steering wheel. So, steering wheel when you turn it, the rudder is turning and the ship goes to starboard side or to port side that we have seen. So, steering wheel we are having, normally the steering wheel is operated by hydraulic operation, high pressure oil, hydraulic oil will be there, using that only this operation is there. So, when you are turning this side or olden days, small boards etc., you can have a chain drive only, steering wheel to steering engine, you have a, because boat is small only, so from the steering wheel to the steering gear engine, small distance you can have small chains. But in big ships, length is too much actually. So, we have normally hydraulic fluids <coughs> or you can have even have electric steering gear also. But invariably, we have hydraulic steering system actually or electro-hydraulic because electric motor is also there for running the hydraulic pumps, etc., which will deliver the hydraulic oil at high pressure for turning or helping to turn this wheel. Like you have the power steering gear for your car and everything. Otherwise, you have to turn, a lorry driver has to turn with a lot of force. Whereas nowadays, with one finger, you can turn the steering wheel. Power steering is there. So, hydraulic oil is used for the steering wheel. So, that you can turn the steering wheel very easily without much problem. Magnetic compass, this all of you know. What is the purpose of this magnetic compass? To know the north-south direction, magnetic compass. Then radar, radar also you must have had radar to find out any other obstacles are there in the, in, the, in the area, whatever in the range, whatever is given to that, any, any other ships are there, any boats are there, any external objects are there, within that range whatever is set by the radar can be seen on the radar screen like a TV, like a TV only radar, there you can see at what distance all these obstacles are there. So, accordingly, the navigating officer, the duty officer who is there on the bridge can navigate the vessel or take precaution to take the vessel this side or that side and all that. So, he will be able to see using the radar any other external objects, maybe ship or whatever it is there, he will be able to see that. And next is the SART. SART is in short, is a short form of search and rescue transponder means used to send distress signals to vessels within the radar vicinity. Radar has got a range, that range can again set it 5 miles or 10 miles or 50 miles or whatever it is there, 2 or 3 settings range, maximum a limit is there. After that you can't get there, any, if any object, objects, objects are there, foreign objects, you will not be able to see or detect on the radar screen. So, within that available vicinity of the radar, you can send distress signal. So, that if you are having your vessel is in distress, you send the signal, those nearby vessels or ships 
will be able to pick up your messages that is distress messages like for example i am having problem i am going to sing or i am capsizing i need help or whatever is there the sort will start transporting the messages and that will be picked up by other vessels which are in the vicinity of the radar range only and then we can take action this is again another instruments eperb e p i r b eperb emergency position indicating radio beacon are used for sending automatic distress signal to coastal station via satellite so these are by manually we are sending normally whereas this is sent by automatically signals in case of any problem this will indicate signals so if you are singing or having some problem the other vessels will be able to locate you because emergency position indicating your vessel's position can be known by the other vessel who is there going to come to help you will be able they will be able to find out your location by using this eperb next is fire detector why fire detector detector is required to detect fire only so engine room fire on the deck on the accommodation various places fire could be there so there is a fire detector which is kept on the bridge so this fire detector will be able to find out from which area or which area fire is there so location will be there on which deck and which sector which area the fire is there. detector will be able to give you indication so accordingly you can take action go and take so this is a very important thing you have various types of fire detectors you have you are having smoke detectors if there is a smoke then that smoke will be detected and then you are having a fire detector or flame detector light detector various types of detectors are available normally three smoke flame and fire detectors these three detectors are there on board the ship and according to their place where where the heat is going to be there more for example in the galley that is a kitchen of the ship always temperature is more so you want fire and uh, other type of signal the detector so that it will be there normal accommodation what will be there will not be any smoke is very important somebody might smoke keep the cigarette there on the there only while sleeping also somebody smokes so it may there a fire could be there in the accommodation also so there again smoke is a very important thing before the fire comes only smoke will be detected and there will be automatic sprinkler system in the accommodation area and all that then you have the echo sounder echo sounder is an instrument used to find out the depth of water ship is going moving when ship is moving forward or reverse wherever direction you have to know the depth of water otherwise the bottom will touch so the navigating officer must know the depth the navigation charts will give you what is the depth of that water accordingly the navigating officer plots the movement of the ship suppose ship has to go from cochin to say bombay cochin to bombay ship has to go so they will plot the chart earlier this is the way i am going to course plot my course this way i go from cochin to bombay for example cochin bombay india map no don't worry about that so bombay is somewhere here cochin is somewhere here you have to come out from here and then come out to the main sea and then if she may go like this way so this course will be plot same way in a automatic uh, the course is plotted in a aircraft also when you are going flight is taking off after going there getting stabilized and then that is when you take up a particular angle only after that she will get stabilized aircraft is also called a she only like a ship only so she will get stabilized in the air then she will take the course where it, it has to go to bombay or delhi or madras wherever it is there accordingly it should take the course same way ship also this plot a course is already plotted earlier using a navigational chart then accordingly the soundings that is the depth of the water will be known but still you, you do not know nature you can today or this plotting has been done long time back using the chart after some time if any wrong is there but 
depth is plowed. So, by using the echo sounder, whatever course you are plowing, all this area is depth is measured. So, the navigating officer knows the depth of water through which his ship is going. Very important equipment, echo sounder. Course recorder, yes. Again, I told you the course has to be plotted. So, whether the ship is using the same course, whatever it was plotted earlier, or if it has to be deviated again because of some problem, again, the course recorder, whatever course is there, the graphical monitor, printout, recording of the various courses steered by the ship around the clock, 24 hours for every full passage throughout your course till reaching the other destination or the discharging port where you want to go and discharge your cargo, your course, whatever has been plotted early will be recorded actually in case any problem tomorrow like a black box detecting, you know, any problem is there, that will be detected. Same way the course recorder will be able to tell you what was the problem, why you had to deviate. This is also important not only for the safety aspect of it, ship is always chartered. Chartered in the sense, she is hired. The ship vessel itself is hired. Manager, owner may not be operating the ship. Ship is a very complicated structure. Ownership is there. Owner may give, owner may give to a charterer and charterer something. So, our manager, ship may not be normally run by a owner itself also. There are shipping companies who run the ship themselves also. But invariably, they do not want to have any crew problem, any provident fund, gratuity, all these labor problems. They want to get away from all these things. So, ship is given for management or ship is taken on hire by a charterer. Like a taxi, when you want to go and take a taxi, so you are hiring or chartering a taxi. But in your hiring or taking on rent a taxi, is in ship it is called chartering. So, chartering a vessel for a particular amount of cargo or a particular voyage or a particular period of time. Say, three months I want to charter your vessel. So, I will come and ask you and you may give. I will say that every month I will give you this much money or every voyage, whatever the terms and conditions, everything is there. Or you can charter for a single voyage, say from Cochin to Mumbai, I want to carry a cargo, I am chartering your, your vessel. So, it can be a time charter, voyage charter, like that the various chartering either commercial aspects. So, we will course recorder will give you the course. So, if the course is deviated, charter will give the fuel for running the vessel. Suppose the course is deviated, he had planned that so many tons of diesel oil or so many tons of heavy oil is required to take the vessel from Cochin to Mumbai. So, if there is any deviation from the course which was already plotted and accordingly the calculation of the fuel was done and if there is any deviation, if you deviate in the passage naturally extra passage, extra elements has to be provided for that. The charter will ask the owner, I will not pay money for this. Because ship could have gone like this way, it was plotted like this way. Why you have to go? So like for example, if you want to go to Bombay, why did you stop in Mangalore? Unless there is some problem. She could have gone directly from Cochin to Mumbai. So like that, if any deviations are there from the plotted course, there will be problem in the chartering business. Again, insurance also, the problem, commercial aspects, lot of problems are there. So, course recorder is a very important equipment. Then you have the voice pipes. Why is this voice pipes? Voice pipes are there, two voice pipes are there. One from the engine room and other from the steering compartment actually. Because there are two sets of telephones. One is normal telephone, other one is sound powered using battery and everything. Second alternate type of communication. Communication is very important. And this is the third type of communication, voice pipe. Brass or copper pipes will be there from the engine room. From there you can talk, like for example, like this way. Suppose this is the navigating bridge. And this is the engine room down below. This is the steering apartment. From the engine room, you are having a pipe. Same way from the steering apartment also. You are having a pipe. So, from here, your telephone is not working also. You can talk through this pipe. And then the bridge man who is standing here can hear. Like all, normal old days using a rope and everything, you are talking and everything same way. 
it's a conventional method so whatever you want to talk from the engine room you can talk through this voice pipe and the navigating officer standing on the bridge can hear same way in the steering compartment your telephone is failed any problem is there through voice pipe you can communicate your bridge might say okay emergency steering 5 degree starport so steering wheel is not working so man sitting in the steering compartment uses the emergency steering wheel and he can talk like this way 5 degree starboard 5 degree starboard telephone nothing is there electric failure is there again this never fails because it's a pipe only through through which you can talk so voice pipes are also very very important